and this is what we're gonna get right here. <laughs> giant lobster, giant crab. Essaouira special. <laughs> That's giant. Look at the size and the color of the tail on there. That looks so juicy and succulent. The color, the blue and the red. It's massive. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. Just got into Essaouira, coastal Morocco, and I'm so pumped because today we're going to be going for a full-on meat and seafood adventure. Let's check it out. This is Essaouira, just a two-hour drive west of Marrakesh on coastal Morocco. And here, you can try some of the best seafood of your life. And today, we're taking you with us for a full-on meat and seafood adventure. Starting out by taking the bus to the weekly Sunday farmer's market at Hadra. And here, we're finding some camel meat and grilling it up. And then, finding an extremely delicious tagine, and then making our way back to Essaouira for an extreme seafood adventure. Tasting raw sea urchins, jumbo lobsters and crabs, and going to a lady's home for a traditional couscous meal. You're gonna love this video, so make sure to watch all the way until the end so you don't miss any of the crazy stuff we find. Let's eat. Awesome guys, this city is absolutely beautiful. And first up, we're gonna go to the Sunday Farmer's Market at Hadra, get some delicious meat, and then we're gonna make our way back to town. There's a seafood market just down there, and we're gonna have a huge seafood feast. Let's check it out. After a quick bus ride, we made our way to the Hadra Sunday Farmer's Market to look for some delicious meat to start the day. All right guys, we have made our way to the local market Hadra near Essaouira in coastal Morocco. And this is just so cool here. Tons of different produce, meat, and we're gonna explore and see what we can find to eat. This is such a cool place here, guys. Oh wow, look at this up here. Oh wow, these are camel hooves and camel head. Camel. Oh, oh and camel meat. Wow, look at the camel head here, guys. <laughs> this is deep local souks in Morocco. We're gonna get a kilo of camel meat here to grill. Wow, he's just measuring it. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's this? No. Oh, the kidney. The kidney. Kidney. Yeah. Oh. Kilo. Kilo. Okay. We're gonna get. Wow, look at this, guys. We've got a. We've got a kilo or more of camel meat and kidney here. That is a lot. And you can see that this is crazy. Okay. Oh, look at that. We're getting a ton of camel meat today. Oh, and the fat. Wow. Merci. Okay. We got the camel meat here. <laughs> Look at that. Pure, bag of pure camel meat in Morocco. Merci. Merci. And after a quick walk to the corner of the market, we found a grill who happily took all the camel meat for us and grilled it up. Wow, this looks good. And we got camel and kidney. That's a whole grill. He's loading it, loading it up. Merci. Oh, and you can see, look at that. We got two racks full of camel meat. This is so cool, super local. You can just sit on these mats and eat your meat. And our camel meat is coming along now. And look at this. And then we've got tea right over the fire as well. Moroccan mint tea. And we're gonna get a glass of that. That looks great. Wow, our camel is ready. Look at that camel meat. Uh, 
that looks so, so thick. There's our camel. I had a little salt on there. And cumin. Merci. Wow. Look at that. We got a huge camel plate here, guys. Wow. Merci. Look at that huge plate of camel. And he sprinkled salt and cumin on there. Mmm. That looks tender. And then we've also got over here Moroccan mint tea. So you can just drop a rock of that rock sugar in, pour your mint in. Oh yeah, there it is. And let that steep for a bit and then pour a nice cup here. Let's get a nice good chunk for the first bite. And that's a mini camel sandwich. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. Oh. It's tough. Almost rubbery in a way. Oh, it's rubbery. I don't know if it's the smell of the market and all the livestock here or the taste of meat in my mouth, but that is infiltrating the whole senses here. And I think that's part of the experience. Take it, take it. And we're just giving some of our camel meat away here because it wasn't my favorite. Merci. <laughs> but the locals love it. After paying for that extreme camel meat, we went deeper into the market and found a shop selling tons of tagines and ordered up a big chicken and olive tagine. And look at this, guys. Look at all these tagine pots here. Lots of tagine. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can find any. So we just found tagine heaven here, guys. Oh, look at that. So there's potato, oh, looks like some zucchini, and there should be beef on the bottom. So you can get either chicken or beef here, or lamb. And you can see this huge row of tagines. This is deep in the local market, Hadra. And we're gonna get, I think we're gonna order a chicken tagine. And this is ours right here, guys. They just put it on for us. You can see all of those olives, the onions, the tomato, the spice, the chicken, oh yes. That is gonna be really good, and that's gonna start sizzling, and that's gonna cook for, I think, about 30 minutes. And, oh, we're gonna have a chicken tagine feast. Oh, merci, wow. Look at this, guys. Look at the color in there. The olives, the onions, there's a chili, there's potato, there's tomato. Mmm. Wow, you can really smell that rich olive aroma. They added on a saffron stock on there, and also they load it up with tons of bizarre spice. Kind of like the Arabic garam masala. Loaded up with cumin, coriander, peppercorns, fennel, chilies, turmeric, and cinnamon. Oh, the chicken just breaks right off into the bread. That is so beautiful, and you can smell all those spices. And we're just so deep. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Wow. It is so smooth, the flavor, and you can really just dig in. And what's really nice here is the chicken and the olive. That's basically the perfect combo. The olives actually give a lot of seasoning to this whole dish because they're salty. And the chicken is juicy, and the onions and tomatoes are sweet. So it's a perfect flavor spectrum. That was the coolest market ever. And we're gonna make our way back to the main city, Essaouira, go for more food. We made our way back to Essaouira for the massive seafood market on the pier and found some crazy seafood, starting with a raw sea urchin and oysters bar right in the heart of the market. Awesome, guys. We are now at the biggest seafood market here in Essaouira. Right down here, there's a ton of fresh seafood. We're gonna buy a bunch and bring it to a local grill in the back streets of Essaouira and have a big seafood feast. Let's check it out. Wow. Look at all the sardines and mackerel. Sardine. Oh, look at these, guys. Sardines covered in salt right off the boat and we're gonna get some. Okay, here we go. Fresh sardines and should be good. Oh yeah, look at this. Salam. Wow, urchin, sea urchin. Oh wow, fresh sea urchin, oyster, tons of huge live shells and seafood. This is caronia, 
We got mussels, gooseneck barnacles, sea urchins, oysters. Everyone is loving it here. And this is like the Moroccan sushi bar right at the port. Oyster. Oyster? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Shukran. So we got oyster and oh, we're also going to get a sea urchin there as well. Nice. Here comes the sea urchin. Oh, that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to get one. Oh, that's so satisfying to watch. That crispy goodness. Oh, nice. This is her what we made sushi with. Make sushi with? Yes. Okay, and this, we eat coral inside. Oh, you eat the, the egg? Yeah. Wow, thank you. Let's try it out. Ooh. Oh, that is potent. Wow. This is bio food. Bio. Bio. Not natural from sea. Oh, natural food. Okay. Natural food, yeah. You can add anything just from sea. You can taste the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> that is a fresh sea urchin right from right off the boat. And super strong, briny flavor. It has a strong ocean odor, so it is it is quite potent. Way different from the stuff in Japan. But it's also enjoyable as well. Thank you. Mm. Oh, that is strong. And after saying thank you, we kept exploring the market on the quest for crab and lobster. Oh yeah, so you can see the sardines are just coming right off the boat here. Super fresh, right off the boat. Amazing. Tons of boxes of these sardines. And you can see way back there, it's just stacked high. <laughs> so many here. <laughs> and we're gonna get some big crab here. This crab, big. <laughs> Let's take a look, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's good size. You have a big, really big. Not huge, but, oh, it's, it's got some weight to it. Okay, so this is 20, which is $2. <laughs> It's great. It's a deal. Thank you. Right from the source. Beautiful, guys. Honestly, while this was a good deal, I was hoping to find a monster crab and lobster. So we asked a couple other guys who brought us to the source at the end of the dock. We got this crab here, and then we met these guys. They've got another bag of crabs, and they're pretty good size, but they're going to bring us to the big one, the monster one, which is across the port. And you can see there's a ton of seafood here, but we're going to go get custom because this was so cheap. 20 dirham, which is $2. So might as well level it up and get a monster size. But first, our lobster delivery guy arrived with a monster lobster that we pre-ordered prior to visiting the market. Look at that. It's monster size. 3 kg. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Shukran, this is it. 3 kg monster. Oh, that is gonna be delicious. Look at the size of that claw. Gigantic. Oh, oh. This is it right here, guys. Look at the tail on that beauty. Look at the size of that. Absolutely beautiful. Still alive. This was more than $2. This was $120. A little bit different. That's gonna be totally worth it. We're gonna go get one more crab because that one was a little small and then we're gonna go have a big feast. And this is our buddy here that's getting us the next crab. We got giant, giant lobster. We're getting one more crab because this one was a little small. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Oh, we're going down. Okay, we're going right to the source, guys. Next crab is from the bag, right under the dock here. Oh, lobster's still alive here. It's nice. Oh. 
Oh, look at all the crab here. Right from the sea. Oh yes, here we go. That's the source. Oh, look at this. Those are huge. That's what we need, guys. Big. Big. Monster. Giant crab, giant lobster, 3 kg right here. And, oh, these are giant, look at these. This. Oh, that's a good size. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, here comes the. Uh, smell. Male. This is male. 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 Oh, and here comes the, the female giant. This is male. Oh, look. look at that. That is what we need. This is female. Small female, female. Oh, small female. female. Okay. I know. So we got female, male, uh, yeah. it's all here. It's wow. Okay. okay. Good. Uh, big. What's th this one's big or this one's big? This is big. This big? This big. Can I feel? Yeah. Can I feel? Oh, that's big. big. That's the big uh, one. That's the giant. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Look at this. We got lobster, giant crab. This is seafood. Heaven. And after paying for the crab, we made our way into the back streets of Essaouira to search for a grill to cook it up for us. So the first step is to get them cleaned. We're gonna bring them to the main central fish market here, get them cleaned, and then bring them to the grill. We can clean? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That is beautiful. Look at the inside there. That is giant. And here's the crab. Oh, there it is. Wow. There it is. Look at that. Oh, it's Wait. splattering. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That is absolutely giant. That's the butter. And that is not gonna be eaten today. There it is guys, a full bag of, of crab and lobster. And we've also got our little bag of sardines. Let's go. And we are in the alleyways now, the souks. And there's a barbecue right up here. We're gonna bring all this delicious seafood to them and try it out. Salam. Oh. Wow, look at all that. Merci. This is the grill. So you can see they're, they're usually doing sardines here, but today we've got a bit of a special feature, crab and lobster. And now we are just putting on a bunch of fresh coals. We're gonna get all of this grilled. You can either get it grilled or steamed, but the locals here in Essaouira, they eat it grilled. Oh, and look at that, there goes the lobster. A full grill of lobster. This is just the first round. Then we've got a full giant crab ready to go here as well. And oh, it's gonna be good. There it is, guys. The lobster is on fire. Wow. Merci. <laughs> Look at that. Giant lobster. Whoa. And as the giant crab cooked, she started cracking open the lobster for me and fed me my first bite. Wow. Oh, look at the claw meat there. Wow. Oh. Mm. Oh. Wow. Seasoned perfectly. Mm. A little bit of cumin. A little bit of lime. Springy, muscular. Oh, and look at that claw flesh. Mmm. Wow. That is epic. Look at the size. 
Lobster flesh is perfect. That lobster flesh is absolutely perfect and springy, full of lobster aroma, seasoned lightly with a bit of salt and cumin. Oh, and that bite she just gave me was absolutely probably the best bite of flesh, of meat, of seafood that I've ever had. Mmm. And we got the crab coming still. Honestly, this was extremely good. But some pieces were just a little too smoky, while others were absolutely perfect. And after enjoying the delicious crab and sardines, we made our way for our final meal of our extreme meat and seafood adventure. Moroccan couscous with an entire chicken. Awesome guys, next up we're going into a local neighborhood to get some homemade couscous. Everybody says the best food in Morocco is homemade, so we got invited to a local home and we're gonna try out some delicious couscous. And while our host was extremely friendly and had no problem with us filming, she preferred to be off camera. So we walked in and only shot the plating of the couscous. Check this out. Look at that. And there's a whole chicken. Look at that. Wow. Oh, it's a whole chicken with cabbage, carrot, homemade couscous. Beautiful. And you can see there's pumpkin and carrot. There's a whole chicken. Eggplant, pumpkin, cabbage, carrot, chicken. It's all on there. And look at that couscous is just saturated with that thick stew. Oh, wow, merci, wow, that is the biggest couscous you'll ever see. It is so big, look at that, there's a whole, that's a whole chicken. She puts a whole chicken in to the couscous, wow. Whole chicken, eggplant, look at that, pumpkin, tons of carrots, and she just loads the sauce. Look at that, tons of fluffy couscous, and she loads up that vegetable stew. So let's get a nice bite there. So it's basically a tomato, pumpkin, carrot, chickpea stew with Moroccan spices, some chicken, and we're gonna take that first bite. Mmm. Oh. Oh yeah. It really tastes like a, a carrot tomato stew. Lightly, lightly spiced. And the couscous is almost slightly nutty. The pumpkin is sweet, same with the carrot. It has a light sweetness to it, and the chicken is tender. It's been a wonderful day in Essaouira, truly amazing place. I would love to know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Please click that thumbs up button, click the subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss any of these videos. And check out our merch, the Travel Eat Repeat and the Thai Howl merch in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, guys.